Scrap fans, uh, time to pick up where we left off in the last video. Um, if you didn't see the last video, then um, I'll put a link in at the end of this one so you can see that first one anyway. Um, <coughs> basically, I'm making a, another grandfather clock. So you can see how far I've got so far. <coughs> um, I've got to the point now where I just need to weld up the top. Uh, cut that out on the CNC plasma, which you would have seen in the last video. Uh, this is what the top's gonna, the shape that the top's gonna look like. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna weld all that up um, into sort of the, the box frame that it'll be and um, go from there. That's the basic framework all welded up. Um, saw me tacking on the, or well, tacking all of it together. I've gone back through, put a few more tacks all the way through, strengthen it up a little bit. Uh, memory on the memory card ran out, so that's why you haven't seen that bit. I gotta get better at making these videos. Um, so yeah, that's all the um, sort of box part of it. I don't know what you'd call it, framework, I don't know. Um, done for the top. And this is what it looks like at the moment. You can see they've got nice angles there. If you remember in the last video, I showed you the picture of what the front was going to look like on um, e machine shop on the computer. Uh, what I'll do now is pop that on top of the actual uh, rest of the clock and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so that is what the top of it is going to look like. Which is going to look pretty cool, I think. Go back over here, you can see the whole thing. Quite tall. <coughs> now, obviously, in the back, there's another sheet to go in there. But what I need to do is uh, work out what I'm going to do for the clock face. I'm either going to use another cutting disc, which is what I've done on the last couple, um, or I might cut something on the plasma. I haven't quite decided what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, but yeah, I need that first. That's going to fill this gap here. You can just sort of see the curves there and there. That clock face will sit really nicely there. You have some empty spaces here, which I'll fill with mosaic scrap, all this sort of stuff. Uh, but with like really small bits and pieces, just nuts and bolts and things like that. Um, so it's really compact. Well, I've come up with a design for the clock face. Uh, we'll show you on the computer. Uh, that one there. You can see that.
So that slots together and holds in place like that. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, next video I'm going to fill in these gaps and put the back onto it um, and then be almost, well I know it won't be almost finished because there's lots of finishing touches to do but yeah I'll fill in the gaps, uh, put the back onto it, weld all the way around the seams then I've got to grind the welds back to make it look nice and tidy. Um, if you've enjoyed the video, uh, feel free to just feel free to subscribe, uh, comment, let me know what you think. Um, if you've got any ideas for future projects? I've got loads of ideas anyway, but always good to hear some different ones. Um, and yeah, that'll be it. So uh, have a good day.